Hi, this is Leslie. Welcome to this video where we will take a look at eSignature. When composing an email from Reserve Cloud, it's possible to request an e-signature or an electronic signature from a guest and to attach the document that will be signed. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. I'm going to go into an event. I'm just going to double click here and I'm going to scroll down to the communication history section. In this section, I'll go ahead and hit send event email, although what I'm about to do would also work in the life cycle as well. But I'll go ahead and hit send event email. I'll choose an email template. and I'm going to go ahead and go with my contract email template. Again, with the understanding, of course, I can change the verbiage in these email templates. Now, what's unique with eSignature is I'll just want to click this box to request an electronic signature. When I do that, it shows myself as the requester, which is fine, and there's a box that opens up Compose eSignature Request. I'll click that button to populate the required eSignature Request email content. The email populates with the needed link for the electronic signature. Scrolling to the bottom of the page, I can now generate my e-signature document. So I want to attach the contract or event order or proposal, whatever it is that I want signed. I'm going to grab a document here and generate that. Just a quick note, if you get a pop-up message that possibly your document is not set up for e-signature, we have another document, uh, our e-signature setup document, that will walk you through how to get your documents set up for e-signature. And we're always happy to help you via our chat feature on that as well. So now I have my e-signature email template ready to go out. My attachment, I'll go ahead and hit send email. As I look back down now into communication history, you're going to see that that document signature has been requested. You'll notice this will change to signed as that action takes place. So let's take a look now. We'll pretend that I'm the client and I've received this request for an e-signature. I'm going to go into the email, go ahead and get the mail here, and then we're going to open that up and take a look at what that looks like. So this is what it might look like coming to a client. If they want to go ahead and sign, they'll click Sign Attached Documents. Window opens up. They can put in their name, what date they signed that, and click the Consent button. And they can certainly read the terms there if they need to. All they have to do at that point is click Save and they'll get the successful message. Now if we go back in, let's take a quick look back at our event. I'm going to do a refresh up here. And now if you look, that now says signed. So it's a great way to know that uh, that has been signed. The other way that I'll know that is in my own email. I don't know if you saw the email pop up, but as the salesperson in my own email account, I can go ahead and take a look at that real quick and it's going to let me know that that document was signed. So I see it in the event. I also see it in my email. I'm going to go back here and go back into Reserve Cloud. To preview the document, if you'd like to see that signed document, you can simply click on the link here underneath the subject. And as I look down into the attachments area, that's where my document lives, and you'll see the little e-signature signed by John Dunn on, on what date so that I have that record as well. So again, a great feature to use. We call that e-signature and it's done by simply going into send an email either through the communication history area or through the life cycle. And once you're in there, you just want to use the request e-signature button. We also have a document on this process as well located up here in our Reserve University. Thanks so much for watching.